So guys, we're here right now in JC Car Audio. Our Camry is finished. We already finished installing the sound system. And actually, the sound system came from my FJ Cruiser before. Uh, I sold the FJ Cruiser without a sound system because I really love the Focal Utopia M. And I think it's really hard to get uh, the Utopia M subwoofer and whatsoever. So I took out the sound system in the FJ Cruiser and put it in my Camry. However, I have to sell the old amplifiers, which, is, which are the Brax, and bought some new amplifiers and DSP. It is because my amplifiers before is quite huge. Uh, in order for that to fit in our Camry, JC has to do a woodworks at the back. However, I don't want to put woodworks at the back. It is mainly because Camry is going to be our family car and I want to be able to put um, some stuffs at the back like strollers or some groceries and whatsoever. So I have to buy new set of amps and DSP. All right, so here's another problem. I need three amplifiers to power the speakers and the subwoofer, and of course the DSP. The DSP and the mono amp for the subwoofer are able to be placed under the seats. The DSP is under the driver's seat and the mono amp is under the passenger seat. However, where will we put the two additional amps that will power our Focal Utopia M3 way? So, JC told me that he's going to do a semi woodworks at the back but still have trunk space. I was like, how is that possible? Because if there's like a woodworks at the back, I don't want the stuff that I will put at the back to hit the sub or hit the amp. Because of course guys, we don't want our, our stuff to get scratched, right? I just trust JC that he's, he's going to do his own thing and design the trunk to be spacious. But at the same time, there's like a uh, semi woodworks. What I love about the Kami setup is that uh, the Focal Utopia M 8 inch mid base was able to fit on the doors of the Camry, which kind of shocked me because the 8 inch is quite an unusual size for a mid base. Usually the mid base is a 6.5 or 4 or 6 inches. That is the standard that will fit inside our car or, in, in, or inside our car door. However, the 8 inch was able to be mounted on our Camry without any modifications, of course. My plan was supposed to get a 6.5 Utopia a mid base because I think that the 8 inch won't fit on my door. But however, JC made a way and found out that the 8 inch can fit the Camry's door which is amazing let's go around the shop and see what cars are here right now so guys here in jc car audio is the lc300 of a dear friend of mine and for me guys this is one of the baddest and meanest but clean looking lc300 here in the philippines as you can see those wild white body kits grabe and to pair up with the kits is this badass 24 inches rims. And of course, Alcon big brake kit. And this wild side exhaust. Grabe. And if you guys know the owner of this LC300, you know that this guy is really serious on setting up cars because stock is boring so let's check out the sound system of this one oh. so as you can see at the back it looks empty right but it has a JLW 3 8 inch subwoofer on this uh, I think this is where the stock subwoofer is and if you flip up the mat there's none, but wait. <laughs> it has an Audison amplifiers. And in front, this is a Focal KRX. And look at that yellow Kevlar cone. KRX is the Kevlar series speakers of Focal. That's why it's yellow, because those are Kevlar's. 
a Lexus ES300. Grabe, look at this. Look at this Lexus, guys. Awesome. It's stuck in the outside, but he changed the rims. So this is an HRE rims, which guys, you can get this from Import Hookup, which is the owner of this LC300. So let's check out the sound system. So guys, it's equipped with a JLW3 and a TrueTech amplifiers. And in front, Speakers is hidden, but it is a Audison speakers, two-way, two-way system. So I wish my garage is somewhat like this. So let's talk about our Camry. So I'm quite amazed on how the Camry came out really badass, really nice and clean and everything. Actually, the sound of the speakers in my Camry, comparing when it was placed in the FJ Cruiser before, it sounds different for some reason. And I asked JC why, and actually all cars have its own acoustics. So it means like it really depends on the car's dashboard, where the speakers is placed on. The Camry, as you can see, it's it's the standard height of the dashboard but it's kind of deep so the acoustics is kind of like the imaging is quite clearer than when it was in the fj cruiser what i mean by the imaging is basically you can see the singer in the middle of your dashboard and the segregation of the instruments is the drums will be on the left or in the right, the backup singers will be segregated on the sides and whatsoever. It really depends on the recording of the music, of course. The imaging in the Camry is quite clearer than in the FJ. But this is my own personal opinion because not all has the same taste when it comes to car audio system. So for me, I like it better on my Camry. It doesn't mean that the cardio system is worth millions, it means it's the best. All right, it doesn't mean that your car audio system is below one million. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It really depends on your preferences. For me, I was fortunate enough to listen to those uh, cars worth million of setup and I for some I like but for some I didn't like it I prefer the 800 or the 200,000 car audio system more than that specific car who has uh, a million worth of sound system it really depends on you as long as you're happy you don't need to spend so much Right, um, but for those people who spend so much, it's because they're really advanced on their cardio system. They are more experienced and they become specific on the speakers that they like. I've been into sound setup since college, so I'm, I'm very specific on the speakers that I will be using. But I cannot say that my speakers, which is the high end of focal, is the best. All right, different people has different listening preferences. For me, Focal, I'm a Focal boy, so I like Focals more than any other brands. For some people, they prefer Morel than Focal and so on and so forth. So it really depends on you. So if you're new or you're planning to upgrade your car audio system, my advice is to listen to some installs or to some or maybe your friends have car audio system upgraded, so maybe you can listen to them, make research about different speakers and whatsoever, and listen to it before you uh, decide on what specific speakers, amplifiers, or head unit that you are going to use. Know first before you spend. Because 
it's expensive if you keep on spending and trying to find that system that fits your sound preferences or your listening preferences. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and sorry guys if I haven't been doing some vlogs recently because my wife just gave birth and I am a father now. And that's the reason why I sold the FJ and why I'm using the Camry because I need a spacious car and a family car. So now I'm going to make more videos, informative videos of course, to share it to you guys. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be updated on my new vlogs. So I'll see you guys soon and take care.